Hey everyone, this is Matt Pridham from Web Diligence, and we're back again for another iSnipe video tutorial. This time around we're going to be talking about the rangefinder feature in iSnipe. So let's go ahead and get started. On the main screen of iSnipe here, we'll uh, go ahead and set up just as though we were going to do a normal compute. Uh, that includes loading a ballistic coefficient for the ammo you're going to be shooting. In this case, let's go with a 130 grained AccuBond in 260 Remington. Next, we will go to Angle to Target, and we can go ahead and uh, adjust this, and click Hold, and we'll say the wind is coming from the left. The max range and step size we can overlook because we're going to compute just one particular range. And uh, next we can go ahead and load in the weather. Now that we have all of our results, we're good to compute. And instead of just the compute button, we'll do compute at distance. And from the two options here, we'll choose calculate distance. Now on an iPhone, you will be confronted with the camera uh, tool here. Uh, because I'm on a simulator on a computer, it uh, displays saved photos. I'll go ahead and load one of those now. There are a few things to talk about on this screen. Uh, we decided to implement <coughs> a zoom um, slider as opposed to using the pinch to zoom. Uh, the reason for that is that we can already move the image around and we have dropped these bottom and top markers uh, that you can move with your fingers. It was determined that if we went ahead and, and did the pinch to zoom, there was just going to be too many fingers on the screen. So let's get started. As you can see, we have a target about uh, four-fifths of the way down a 50-yard indoor range. And we have our top and bottom marker. And we'll go ahead and set those up. The bottom marker goes on the bottom of the target. And you guessed it, the top marker at the top. Now, as you can see, we don't have a very good uh, view of the target there at the current zoom level. So let's go ahead and zoom all the way in. And we can go ahead and fine adjust these. And we'll go ahead and tell iSnipe how big our target is. In this case, it's a four-foot paper target. And it reports 38 yards away. As I mentioned, four-fifths of the way down a 50-yard range. That's about right. Uh, this tool is actually fairly accurate out to about three or 400 yards. Past then, you start to uh, degrade on accuracy fairly quickly. Um, but uh, it will certainly do for the majority of, of uh, shots out there. Now one uh, quick other thing to mention is the top and bottom do not have to be aligned vertically here. They can be offset left and right so long as they are touching the top and bottom of your desired target. From here it's just a matter of clicking compute, looking at the provided solution in either minutes of angle, mil dots, or mil radians, and clicks. That's the rangefinder feature in iSnipe. Hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. We'll see you again next time.